This section looks at your personal safety when getting to and from your place of work. It gives general suggestions for things you can do to stay safe. These suggestions are useful wherever you are going and whatever you are doing, whether during your workday or outside of it, and particularly if you're going somewhere you have never been to before. However you travel to work or to a property, it's useful to make sure your mobile phone has good battery power in case you need to get help. It's also useful to let someone at work, whether this be a colleague, a letting agent or a family member, know if you are delayed so they don't worry if you're late. If you are walking, you need to stay particularly aware of your surroundings, the place and people around you. Texting or listening to music as you walk along takes your attention away from what's going on and you may not notice trouble approaching. It's a good idea to wear comfortable shoes so you will be able to walk quickly. Keep bags close to your body so they can't be snatched and don't attract unwanted attention by displaying expensive jewellery or watches. It's important to think about your route and avoid obvious dangers like taking shortcuts down quiet or poorly lit alleyways. It's best if you can use routes you know. Well lit busy roads are best. While walking, if a vehicle pulls up alongside you and your gut instinct tells you something might be wrong, simply turn and walk in another direction. And of course, don't accept lifts from strangers, no matter how cold or wet you feel or how safe they look. If you are at all concerned that you are being followed or about to walk into a dangerous situation, you need to act immediately. Cross the road away from the danger, change direction, Go towards a public place where you know there will be other people, such as a shop, pub or restaurant. Keep moving. Use your mobile to tell someone you're worried and where you are. Sometimes hearing you contact someone else will deter a potential attacker. Call the police if you're really worried. If you're going to drive, make sure you plan your journey before you go. Check the route and plan where you're going to park. It's really a good idea to keep an emergency kit in the car with things such as a torch, a bottle of water and some money. Not too much, of course. During the journey, keep the doors locked in built-up areas or in stop-start traffic. Try to avoid road rage situations. Don't respond to aggression from other drivers, but if another car forces you to stop, stay in your car and keep the engine running. Use your mobile phone to call for help. When you arrive at your destination, think about where you park and if it could be dark when you leave. Try to choose well-lit areas near street lamps if possible and, if you can, park close to the entrance or exit. It's a good idea to reverse into a space so that you will be able to get away quickly if you need to. It's really important not to leave valuables or personal possessions on view inside your car. They make your car an obvious target for crime. It's not just the loss of your belongings, but any damage to your car that may mean it's no longer roadworthy. The car alarm may have run down your battery. You might be stuck there. You might not be safe. On your way back to your car, have your keys ready, but don't use your remote control key too early. Wait until you arrive at your car. Make sure you plan ahead if you're using public transport. Before you go, check your route, the timetable and fare information. If it's dark and you have to wait for the bus or train to arrive, Try to wait in well-lit areas where there are other people about. Wait near emergency alarms if you can and choose places where you are covered by CCTV cameras. 
It's a good idea to keep your ticket or money ready so that you don't have to spend time with your purse or wallet out in the public. And while you're on the train or bus, keep possessions close and try not to display expensive items. Choose a busy carriage on a train or bus, and if you feel at all uncomfortable or threatened, move seats or carriages. Try not to be on your own if someone's behaviour is worrying you. You may need to use a taxi. If you do, it's useful to know some reputable taxi companies. Your organisation may have a list of preferred companies already, so check with them. It's a good idea to make bookings for return journeys before you go, so that you know there will be someone there to pick you up. But keep the details of alternative taxi companies with you in case your booking lets you down. And ask for the driver's details when you make the booking. Maybe his name and card registration and confirm the details when the taxi arrives. If you are worried during the journey, ask the driver to stop in a busy area. If you are worried when you arrive, ask the driver to wait and let him know when you're in safely.